see how those are all covered up. Jerry Clark has a sister mm -hmm. buried at the Evergreen Cemetery. While her grave may look nice now, Clark says that wasn't the case just a few months ago. It was Mother's Day and I wanted to come and bring some flowers and put it on my sister's grave. I could not find it. Like the rest of Evergreen Cemetery, Mother Nature took over the grave. It took Clark and her family three days to find it. There's so many graves out here covered. You don't even, you can't even see where it is. For years, Alder Woman Shabazz has been fighting for the sisters, mothers, fathers, and veterans buried here to save the cemetery. I do not go to sleep on this. Not a day, not a day goes by. The problem is the cemetery is privately owned and one of the property owners recently passed away without a will, making it difficult for the city to acquire it. This leaves us, the city, in a legal limbo. In 2019, Shabazz says the city invested more than $90,000 into the cemetery to clean it up so they could sell it to an interested buyer, but that buyer backed out. Now the city must go through probate court. At this time, there is no change to the property status. With the pandemic going on, with the backlog in the courts, this is where we are right now. But older woman Shabazz says she won't give up on this fight. I remain committed to a long-term solution to this matter. As for Clark, she just hopes to see the cemetery get cleaned up sooner rather than later. It's private, but we should be able to do something to not have this look like this.